hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing great not doing any long intro let's just get into this video right away we're doing a smoky eye makeup look i've already prepped my skin i've done my eyebrows a little bit yeah so the first step is to apply a makeup fixer like i like to apply a makeup fixer because i think it gives a very nice dewy finish to my face like preps my skin nicely the spray of this bottle isn't that great but the product itself is okay so i like it then i'm using a concealer to prime my eyelids this is a completely skippable step if you like the color of your natural eyelids you can go ahead with that i'm using the makeup revolutions concealer for that and i'll be using a flat brush to blend everything not the right choice of brush but yeah this is what i was using that day and then i am blending everything in i think applying a concealer enhances the overall eye look but it's completely your choice you can use whatever products you have you don't have to use the products that i am using in this video after everything is blended out completely i'm using a loose powder to set everything in i'm using my makeup revolutions banana powder to set my eyelids you can go ahead without it but i like to set my eyelids so yeah that is that then we have to use a kajal for the smoky eye look i'm using the k beauty school pencil you can use a pencil which is not gel based i couldn't find my blue heavens kajal that day that is why i'm using this one but because it's a gel based it sets quickly so we have to move our hands extremely fast for this because it takes some time to blend but if you're using a kajal pencil which is not gel based and it will blend pretty easily you can see i'm using a very small blending brush it, it is a very dense brush so yeah it blends everything nicely then i'm applying my kajal again because i need to increase the intensity of my kajal it should look pretty dark so you can keep going until you think it's looking pretty dark then i'm blending it again because it should look blended out smoked out i'm using this black eyeshadow from my huda beauty's rose gold palette you don't have to use this palette use whatever palette you have at home you just need a black eyeshadow and i keep on increasing the intensity of my kajal then i'm using this brown eyeshadow to smoke it out like it should look very natural and there should be no harsh lines so that is what i'm doing you can use any brown eye shadow of your choice i'm using this one you can see how perfect it's looking then i'm using this elf palette and this light transition shade to blend out any harsh lines there and you can see it looks completely blended out then doing the same thing on my other eye using my kajal blending it then using a brown eye shadow to blend everything in and then finally ending it with a transition shade and i love how smoked up it is looking then using a kajal because honestly this look is incomplete without kajal but if you feel uncomfortable with kajal you can skip it but i think kajal binds and brings this whole look together i'm looking pretty uncomfortable here but yeah i'm using a kajal then i'm using my lakme insta eyeliner this is also completely optional i like my eyes with a wing but if you don't want to or if you don't know how to apply a winged eyeliner then you can totally skip it but yeah i am doing it and extending it from my inner eye corner then using this eyelash curler because i am completely obsessed with this step now although i'm still scared but i think it completely changes the whole eye look then i'm using this maybelline sky high mascara this is a new one i really love the packaging and the mascara is also great it gives me extremely voluminous eyelashes so i am in love with this mascara this was the second time i was using it and you can see the difference it makes my eyes are looking a little watery 
Then for my base makeup, I'm using this Maybelline Superstay 24-hour full coverage foundation. This foundation is literally so beautiful. You'll see it for yourself how beautifully it blends. It looks like a filter. The only thing I don't like about this foundation is that it oxidizes. So even though this might look like my shade, but when it oxidizes, my face looks extremely dark. So yeah, that is something I don't like about it. But overall, this foundation is pretty nice blends beautifully as you can see stays on for a very very long time so maybe i'll get a shade lighter in this and even you should get a shade lighter if you want to try this foundation but yes the foundation is literally so beautiful and perfect for my oily skin then i'm going in with my makeup revolutions concealer this is not my shade actually this is a bit light but because i'm using it with this foundation i think it will balance the whole look out I can't give you a proper review because sometimes this concealer looks a bit ashy on me but when I wear it with this foundation it doesn't look that ashy but yeah the concealer's formula is pretty nice it doesn't crease it blends easily stays on for a really long time so you can see how easily it's blending here I like such concealers because it doesn't crease so whenever I'm doing like other things on my face like applying blush and all of that it just stays in its place then i'm using this blue heavens kiss and blush lip and cheek tint this is one of my favorite products but i don't use it that much these days you can see i love this shade i think it's in the shade flashy pink and it gives such a nice dewy kind of look so i'm using that i won't be using any powder blusher for this makeup look but if you're going out you can definitely use a powder blush to set everything in but i like the shade of this blush so i don't want to ruin it after that i'm blending it nicely then i'm using my makeup revolutions banana powder to set my under eyes you can see how flawless it's looking love this powder it's, it is one of the best powders i've used so i keep buying it then after the powder is blended then i'm using a brown eyeshadow in my lower lash line to bring the whole look together this way everything will look evenly blended and smoked out i'm using the same shade i used to blend my kajal like the same brown shade which i used then i'm using some highlighting shade from my huda beauty palette I'll mention the shade here but yeah you can use any highlighter you have I just love the shade in this palette so I use it a lot I am applying it on the bridge of my nose and on my eyebrows also this is completely skippable if you don't like too much shimmer you can skip it but I think it makes the whole look even more beautiful then i just wiped off my lip balm and applying some powder here on my lips for a smooth application of lipstick and lip liner i'm gonna use this brown lip liner from mars cosmetics i don't remember the shade i'll mention it on my screen here using a brown lip liner because we will be using a nude lipstick because we have done smoky eye look so we want our focus to be on the eyes and not on the lips that is why going with nude lips yeah following my natural lip line nothing too great and filling my corners with the same lip liner so the nude shade pops out and because it can make our lips look a bit washed out also then going ahead with this Maybelline's lipstick in the shade Clay Crush. It is a beautiful nude lipstick but the application can be a bit tricky so I recommend using a nice brown lip liner with it. Yeah, applying it in the center of my lips, dabbing it nicely so it doesn't ruin the lip liner. And then I didn't plan on going in with the gloss but I'm using this lip oil from DM Beauty to complete the whole look and I think it made the lips look even more beautiful. And yeah this was a look I think this is a perfect look for a night event smoky eye with nude lips 
i think it is a perfect combination you can see the close up of my eye makeup look i absolutely love smoky eyes i do it a lot on myself this was my complete look this is what my makeup looked in natural light i hope you guys like this video i'll see you again next time bye bye I just wanna give it to you and you